Okay, so let's see if you have the algebra skills to solve this interesting algebra word problem. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and read the problem. It is as follows. The sum of Ed's age and Ron's age is 39. Ron's age is three less than twice Ed's age. What are their ages? Okay, now I did indicate you will need to use a little bit of algebra here, but we have a multiple choice question as well. Matter of fact, let's take a look at our answers. So A is 19 and 20, B is 18 and 21, C is 14 and 25, and D is 10 and 29. All right, now feel free to use a calculator, but if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then of course, I'm gonna explain exactly how to do this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, let's take another look at this problem. Now I did say that you're going to have to use some algebra here, but maybe not. Okay, now you might be saying, what are you talking about? Well, I'll explain here in a second. So the problem again is the sum of Ed's age and Ron's age is 39. Ron's age is three less than twice Ed's age what are their ages? All right, so let's take a look at the right answer. The correct answer here is C, 14 and 25. Now, if you got this right, you definitely get a happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and a certificate of excellence for being able to figure out the solution to an age math word problem. Very typical type of math word problem, especially in algebra. But because we have a multiple choice uh, question here, you could have used the answers to uh, get the, uh, you know, figure this thing out. So, oh yes, uh, C is the right answer. But if we didn't have a multiple choice question, well, we need to know the algebra. So let's go ahead and get into this right now. This is not that difficult. So here is our problem, okay? Now let's suppose you run across this problem on a math test and you don't know what to do. What should you do? If you're saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a guess. And I'm like, yes, indeed, that is correct. Just take a guess. You have nothing to lose. So for those of you that still have to take math exams, never, ever, ever leave a math question blank. So just be like, I don't know, uh, 19 and 20 looks pretty good. Now, you're probably fixated on the sum of Ed's age and Ron's age is 39. So let's see, uh, 20 plus uh, 19, oh, that adds up to 39, looks pretty good to me. So that must be the right answer. Well, it's a good guess, but it is wrong. So the only way to figure this thing out is to do the algebra, or you could have interpreted the problem correctly because uh, if you understand this part of the problem, Ron's age is three less than twice Ed's age, you could have kind of figured out that this would have been the right answer, right? So you're like, all right, Ron, if Ron is this and Ed's this, I can uh, take three away, twice that, da, da, da. So you can always, well, not always, but very often you can use the answers in a multiple choice question to figure out the correct uh, answer or the correct solution to the problem. So instead of just blindly uh, guessing, if you don't know what to do, think about it a little bit more and see if you can at least narrow your guess down to two choices, not four. All right, but in this case, we're simply just going to do the algebra, which is gonna be awesome because solving age word problems is a very typical uh, type of uh, problem in algebra, right? And they're not that difficult. And when you learn how to solve uh, generally like one or two of these, then you can pretty much solve all of them. All right, so we are talking about the age of Ed, or Ed's age and Ron's age. So we know the sum of Ed's age and Ron's age is 39. Now, I wanna mention something here. We are dealing with a math word problem. Of course, we're gonna use algebra, so always use the rule of three, and that is read the problem at least three times before you start doing anything. Now, I've read the problem already a few times, and the more times you read the problem, the better you're going to understand it, and we really wanna understand the question. It's pretty straightforward here. We wanna figure out how old is Ed and Ron. Okay, we wanna determine their ages. 
but we need to use this information to kind of paint a picture. So you want to try to model the information, and this can be done in a lot of different uh, ways, but we want to break the problem up in its little component parts, right? So we have one sentence that tells us something, the sum of Ed's age and Ron's age is 39, and then we have another sentence that's telling us something else, Ron's age is three less than Ed's age, so we want to kind of split this up and think about, you know, the problem one sentence at a time. So let's start off with this first one here. The sum of Ed's age and Ron's age is 39. So maybe that's like this, right? So here's Ed and here's Ron. So if we add up their ages, uh, it's 39. Pretty straightforward, right? And then the second part is a little bit more confusing, but it says Ron's age is. Now, this word is uh, is the equal sign in math, okay? It comes up all the time. So Ron's age is. So Ron a Ron's age is equal to. Okay, equal to what? Three less than twice Ed's age. And I think this is the part of the problem that may confuse most people. So the way to uh, not be confused is to go nice and slow. Three less than twice Ed's age, twice Ed's age. So it's doubles Ed's age, and it's three less than twice Ed's age. So let's kind of construct a basic model here. So here is Ron, right? So Ron's age is, right? So Ron here, right, Ron's age is what? It's th uh, Ron's age is three less than twice Ed's age. So something like this, two times Ed's age and minus three, or three less than twice Ed's age. So what we have here is the beginning of some sort of uh, relationships that we can use to construct an equation to solve this problem. So Ed, Ed's age plus Ron's age is 39. And Ron's age is equal to twice Ed's age minus three. Okay, so this is what the problem is saying. So now we want to kind of formalize this and use some uh, variables, something like X, to represent their ages, all right? So how are we going to do this? Well, there's a couple of different approaches, but let's just let X equals Ed's age, okay? Now, you could let X equals uh, Ron's age, but that's going to make things easier because, or more, more difficult, excuse me, because if we let X equal uh, Ed's age right here, then 2X minus 3 is the same thing as Ron's age. So you got to think about, you know, what um, your variable is going to represent. So just don't say, all right, let's let X equals Ron's. No, no. Think about this for a second. That's why kind of constructing these nice little uh, basic uh, pseudo formulas, if you will, or verbal models or visual models of a problem will really help you figure this out. So instead of Ed's age, we'll just go 2x minus 3. All right, so we'll let x equal um, oh, x equals to Ed's age, so Ron's age is equal to 2x minus 3. All right, so let's go ahead and formalize this. So let x equal to Ed's age, and then Ron's age by default will be 2x minus 3. All right, now we can kind of go back over here to this lovely equation because we uh, have... Ed's age plus Ron's age is equal to 39. So we can build an equation here, and we have some nice algebraic expressions. So here we go. Ed's age plus Ron's age is equal to 39. So Ed, again, we said was going to be equal to X. Ron is 2X minus 3. Remember, we kind of built this right up here. Okay, so there's Ron's age, 2X minus 3. But we know that the... Um, the sum of their ages is 39, and now we have a lovely linear equation. X plus 2X minus 3 is equal to 39. So uh, hopefully, from this point forward, you have the algebra skills to solve this. Let's go ahead and do this right now. Okay, so X plus 2X is what? Well, we have to combine like terms. That's 3X, so 3X minus 3 is equal to 39. So we want to get the variables on the left and the numbers on the right. So we're going to add 3 to both sides of the equation. 39 plus... Uh, 3 is 42, so 3x is equal to 42. So to solve for x, all we have to do is divide the equation, uh, both sides of the equation by 3. So x is equal to 14. So what is that? Well, remember, Ed's age is x. So Ed is 14 years old. Okay, so it's going to be pretty easy here to take the next step. And the next step is to subscribe to our channel here, or my channel, not our channel. Maybe it is our channel. Maybe that's a good way for me to think about my YouTube channel is to be like, hey, maybe we all can participate in it. Matter of fact, um, uh, I do often get uh, uh, recommendations, not recommendations, um, 
uh, yeah, I guess uh, suggestions. That's the word I'm looking for. Where people say, hey, look, you know, can you do this problem or that problem? I love those suggestions. But I'm kind of like on a bit of a, I don't want to say total, um, uh, you know, schedule, but somewhat of a schedule because I like to spread my work around uh, what I'm posting from basic math, algebra, geometry, trigonometry, you know, more advanced mathematics. So I love to kind of cover all these topics and I try to, you know, um, you know, distribute my uh, videos, you know, accordingly. Okay. So if you have a great suggestion, I definitely appreciate it. I'll try to get to it uh, when I can, or if I can, but, you know, I do a lot of things beyond YouTube, um, namely is my full math uh, website, okay? Uh, in my web math website, I have like about 180 different courses. So we support a lot of people there, uh, you know, public school students, uh, college students, homeschool students, uh, people that are getting or uh, uh, taking a test to get some sort of certification. So I'm a pretty busy guy, but one thing I don't sacrifice is posting videos to uh, YouTube because I really feel that everybody that watches my videos, whether you are a subscriber or not, and if you are a subscriber, thank you so much. Uh, but I look at everyone who watches my video, and I take a personal responsibility to be like, all right, I just feel like I'm your math teacher, which means that I really want to teach you know, math as well as I possibly can, okay, in a way that you can like and understand. And hopefully I'm doing that. Doing that. And uh, if you are getting value from my videos, the best way to support what, um, now, my work is to subscribe. It really does make a huge difference for YouTube and allows me to reach more people. And if you're interested in taking one of my full main math courses, you can find uh, links to those in the description of this video. And don't forget to hit that notification bell as well so you can get my latest videos. But now, let's finish this problem up because once we have Ed's age, which is 14, Ron's age is super easy to get. Remember, it's going to be 2x minus 3. So Ed... Uh, remember, we said Ed's age is going to be uh, X. We saw for X, that was 14. So we're going to plug in 14 uh, for X right here. So 2 times 14 minus 3. So 2 times 14 is 28 minus 3 is 25. So Ron's age is 25. And if Ed is 14 and Ron is 25, well, uh, the sum is 39. So that checks out. All right. So again, uh, this is a typical type of classic algebra word problem. Okay. So uh, for me, you know, I was first taking algebra, uh, I think back in the early 80s. Uh, yeah, I think that's about right. But uh, I have a massive collection of uh, math textbooks. It's kind of like a, a hobby of mine, an interest of mine. And I have books that go back from the 50s, 60s. So it doesn't make a difference. I'm trying, you know, I would love to get older uh, books, but uh, particularly um, books that are, you know, uh, 50, 60 years old. These problems show up all the time. So probably your great grandfather, great grandmother was doing these problems way back in the good old days. And maybe some of you remember, yes, I was doing that way back in 1967 or whatever the case uh, may have been. But uh, anyways, hopefully this little video helps you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.